Hello. Hey, uh, raise your hand if you're comfortable with the direction our country is going. I think if you raised your hand, you're probably not paying attention. Um, I want to do a video today, and I'm very serious about this. I believe this is how we can save our country. Okay? So, and I'm going to refer to the scriptures to do this. In 2 Chronicles 7.14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Okay, who are my people? He says, if people who are called in my name, Christians. Okay, I, I believe what needs to happen here, I believe it needs to begin in the church. Um, so what kind, of, what, what kind of wicked things are, are we talking about here in this country? Abortion? How about abortion? How are we any different than the Mayans who, are, who were destroyed? They, they, were, they sacrificed babies. We're killing babies every day. Millions of babies have been killed in abortion. Homosexuality? Sorry, it's a sin. God condemns it. Lying, stealing, murder, etc. All of these things are happening. Okay? Um, in Acts 3.19, it says, Therefore repent and return so that your sins may be wiped out in order that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. The Lord loves us, and He wants us to have good love, good lives. He wants wants us to feel refreshed. But God cannot tolerate sin. Period. In Matthew twenty three thirty seven, Jesus said, "Jerusalem, Jerusalem, who kills the prophets and stones those who have been sent to her? How often I wanted to gather your children together, the way I get uh, the way a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, and you were unwilling." God wants us to come to Him. He wants to, wants to protect us. He wants to, like a hen has her chick. Look up, you can find these pictures on the internet, chicks under the mom's, uh, mom's wings. I love this passage, and I, I picture myself under God's wings and Him just protecting me. And, and sometimes we have a tendency to kind of wander out and want to check things out, and it's just scary, so we go back, and He protects us. That's where He wants us to be, okay? 2 Peter 3 9. The Lord is not slow about his promises, as some count slowness, uh, slowness, but is patient toward you, not willing that any should perish, but for all to come to repentance. God doesn't want anyone to perish. He wants all of us to repent. Um, I would say you could probably sum the Bible up real simply. Um, well, the book of Revelation, it talks a lot about repent, repent. Turn to your first love because the Lord's coming back. Again, I say this stuff begins in the church. Okay, If we want our land to be healed, we need to start um, uh, doing what, uh, what the Lord says. I mean, we, we pushed him away, pushed him out of schools, said we want to do our own thing. We don't want you telling us what to do. We don't want you running our lives. And we're paying the price for it. We're suffering the consequences. Now, is what is happening in our country a result of God judging us or is it just we're, we're reaping what we sowed? And I, I asked a question, are, are we like Sodom and Gomorrah who God destroyed? He came down and saw Sodom and Gomorrah and their sexual immorality is why he destroyed them. They were, they were beyond hope, beyond fixing, so he just destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Or are we more like Nineveh? Um, the, Lord, uh, the word of the Lord came to Jonah, the son of Amittai, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, the great city, and cry out against it, because their wickedness has come up before me. So God, God sends Jonah. He basically warns them, you guys better repent and um, ask for forgiveness. Get your act together. Turn to God, or you're going to be destroyed. Um, then the people of Nineveh, so he goes in there and he preaches to them, the people of Nineveh believed in God and they called a fast and put on sackcloth, the greatest to the least of them. When God saw their deeds, 
that they turned from the evil way, God relented of the disaster which he had declared he would bring on them, so he did not do it. So the question is, is God warning us right now? I, I think he is. I, I, there are a lot of pastors and a lot of teachers. I see, I see it every day. I hear it on the radio, on the TV. People uh, telling us we need to turn to God. The question is, are we going to do it? And the only hope for this country is for a revival for God. So I don't want to just leave you t without telling you, so, okay, so what can we do? Well, let's go back up to 2 Chronicles. If my people who are called by name will, will humble themselves, humble yourselves, pray, seek God's face, turn from your wicked ways, then God will hear from heaven and for, will forgive our sins and will hear the land. So I don't know whether we've gone too far or not, but I, I, believe, um, I believe God wants us to seek him and pray and all of that. So I'll leave you with that. Um, hope you have a good day. God loves you so much.